Maya flits in and out of my room several times over the next week. Always with a big smile on her face. Sometimes she tells me more tales about the hospital's mysteries. And sometimes we just watch TV for a while. But either way, I'm always glad to see her. She brightens up my Montonus life. And gives me hope that maybe someday, eventually, everything will really be okay again. And things start to look up even more when, one afternoon, another visitor finally steps through my door. Alright, so who's gonna say hi to crippled old me? Hey kid. Hi! I don't know who you are. <laughs> I thought I had more with that, but I just don't know who you are. <laughs> but you seem nice. Sure. Aunt Claire. Ah, it's your aunt. Okay, things are established. I'm sorry, I do know you. <laughs> my aunt tosses the duffel bag on the floor and rushes to my bedside. Can I hug you or? No, don't hug me. I'm gonna die if you do. Please, do not hug me. I lean toward her and reach my arms out as best as I can. And she gives me a tight squeeze. I never used to like hugs that much. Especially not from family. It It's a little embarrassing once you're a teenager. Not really, it feels really nice. You should do it more often, honestly. <laughs> Especially if they love you that much, then by all means, go for it. <laughs> It feels like it's been forever since anyone touched me for any other reason than medical treatment. I'm pleasantly surprised by how warm and comforted I feel. It's even enough to make the back pain worth it. I'm so sorry I couldn't be here earlier. I got on the first flight as soon as I heard. That's okay. You're here now. My aunt is an artist, and she travels all over the world painting different landscapes. It's not out of the ordinary for her to be practically off the grid sometimes when she's working in remote areas. When I was a kid, I got used to her missing most big holidays. But then she turned up out of the blue once in a while with a suitcase full of souvenirs and several days worth of exciting stories of her adventures. I used to beg her to take me with her on the next one. And she always promised she would one day when I was old enough. I'll have to tell Aya some of those stories sometime. How are you holding up, kid? Dying! <laughs> I have a broken leg, I, I think. I'm actually unsure. <laughs> Do you have a broken leg? Aunt Claire finally lets go of me and pulls up a chair next to my bed. Well try to shrug, but it only makes me wince in pain. I think that's a pretty good answer to her question. Yeah. <laughs> One simple word. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I asked. Look. She leans in and very gently rests the hand on the last bandage of my two shoulders. It's going to be okay, kid. I know it doesn't feel like it now. It probably feels like your life is over already at 16. With your home and your parents gone just like that. Honestly, it's probably pretty normal for you to think that, considering that you're only 16. Who do you have? <laughs> you have your aunt, but she's gone in like five minutes, probably. Your parents are gone. I'm sorry I have to say this again, but your parents are gone. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to have to go through. No dip. But you're going to get through it. I'll try. You're going to be out of here and walking again in no time. I'll try. <laughs> and you're not going to be alone because I'm going to take care of you. Really? I sniffle slightly. I got to cry in front of my cool aunt. I really needed that reassurance. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Claire. No problem, kid. 
She's silent for a moment as she wipes away a tear of her own. And it hits me that this must be pretty sad for her too. She and my dad were always close. It can't be easy to lose a brother. But soon enough, she's striking up conversation again. I wonder how much of her confident demeanor is her just putting on a brave face for me. So, hey, any preferences on where to live once they let you out? I'm going to start looking through rental ads later today. So, what the heck are my options? We don't even have to stay here if you don't want to. We can move somewhere totally new. You're going to rent a place for the two of us? Who else did you think you'd be living with, kid? I don't know, I thought you were going to leave me. Honestly, I would have been used to it. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about it at all. I haven't been able to imagine any kind of future outside of this room. I mean, maybe you'd rather live on your own. But you need a legal guardian until you turn 18 at least. No, that's fine. I want to live with you. It will be nice. Great. So what do you say? Should we take off to Vegas? Um, maybe not. Not my preferred place. I would go to a lot of more places than Vegas, alright. That gives me a joking grin. I chuckle. <laughs> Here is fine for now. That way I can finish school with my friends and stuff. Then again, I don't know how accurate it is to say that I have friends. Considering that none of them have come to visit me yet. And I can only imagine how far behind I'm getting in school. Alright, you got it, kid. I'll rent us the best duplex this town can offer. Jesus. How much money do you make from art? Just just a little bit of a question. Yes, I'm writing this down, by the way. I want to know how much you make. <laughs> Thanks. Anything else I can do for you? Are they feeding you well enough in this joint? Need any books to read? Oh, some books would be great, actually. I made a friend in here who was just telling me how much she misses reading. Then I'll hit the bookstore on the way back to the hotel and grab something for both of you. What kind of books does your friend like? Please don't ask me that. I honestly forgot. I honestly did forget. Hmm. Well, I know she likes horror games, so maybe she would want something scary to read, too. If I knew what room she was in, I would... Oh! Just then, I catch sight of Aya herself out of the corner of my eye. She takes one step into the room before shrinking back toward the hallway again. As though she thought better of coming in once she realized I had another visitor. Aunt Claire turns her head to see what I'm shouting about. I appears to be on the verge of running off, where she sighs and stays still in the doorway. I've never seen her look so incredibly anxious before. You don't have to be shy, Aya. This is just my Aunt Claire. She's nice, I promise. Zack. Aunt Claire cranes her neck to look down the hallway before turning back to me. Who are you talking to? Yeah, that's what I thought. She don't exist now, does she? I hate the silence. <laughs> Look over at Aya, my jaw hanging open in shock and confusion. She shakes her head, tears brimming in her eyes. Somehow, I understand. I force an awkward chuckle as I break my gaze away from her and plaster a fake smile on my face. Wow, I, I can't believe she already ran off that fast. I thought I saw my friend for a second, but I guess she got nervous when she noticed you and made a break for it. She's... she's really shy. I shift my eyes back in Aya's direction for a moment and catch her giving me a sad smile. Too bad I missed her. I'd love to meet her if she feels more comfortable next time. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I'll, uh... I'll talk to her. 
and know now that nothing can say that Aya is going to change the situation. Fact is, as crazy as it seems, my Aunt Claire can't see her. I'm starting to wonder if I might be the only one who can. We have a ghost person in our hands. Interesting. So, now you know. But why am I the only bastard that can see you? It doesn't make sense. At least not yet. I have floats to the edge of my bed after my aunt leaves. And I noticed I'm saying aunt and aunt. Just, just deal with me, okay? How is it that I didn't know she floated before? Do I? I'm not even sure what I know. I have shrugs. Well, we know I'm not normal for one thing. Are you? Feels silly even saying it. But I'm not sure what else it could be. A ghost? I guess so. I mean, it seems like I fit the criteria, right? I can float around, walk through walls. Oh, and I can't touch physical objects at all. Interesting. <laughs> well, reading's gonna be a lot of fun now, isn't it? Like, watch this. They face right through each other. Aya slowly reaches her hand toward mine. Even knowing that she's... Whatever she is. It's still a bit of a shock when her fingers come into contact. The expected physical sensation isn't there. I watch. Enthralled and a little scared. As her hand fully passes through mine. It feels a little tingly. As if my hand fell asleep. A little bit cold too. That's it. Nothing else. Aya lifts her hand again and waves her incorporeal fingers in the air. It's kind of cool sometimes, but also really annoying if you want to do something normal like read a book or change the channel on the TV. I would think so. I'm gonna have to be your personal servant now, am I? <laughs> if so, you know what? Fine, I'll be a good friend. That's what good friends do, right? They, they help each other. I don't know, it seems I don't have many anyway. Also, no one else can see or hear me. Yeah, but why can I? But why can I, though? It doesn't make sense. Really? No one? She nods. You're the first one. I couldn't believe it when you just started talking to me like I was a normal person. Like, I was alive. Maybe I should have told you right then, but I didn't want to scare you off. It's been so long since I could have a real conversation. How long has it been? 15 years? That, I don't know. You lose track of time after a while. You know, when nothing really changes. I, uh... I think about the pain and frustration of the time I spent alone in here before I met her. Then, I envision it stretched out over months. Maybe even years. It must have been terrible. Oh, it's not so bad, really. I mean, I can go wherever I want. Uh, anywhere. Even outside this hospital? All over the hospital, anyways. And there it is. <laughs> There's so much going on all the time. So many people going through new and transformative experiences. And some of it is sad, sure, but some of it is amazing. I've seen people recover from the worst trauma of their lives, working hard at physiotherapy, until they can finally go home again and feel good about the future again. I've seen people have life-saving surgeries that would never have been possible just a few years ago. I've seen exhausted young parents ecstatic about holding their adorable new babies for the first time. All that and I can watch as much TV as I want, whenever I want. 
really, it's not such a rough deal. Eyes are glow as she describes the wonders of life in the hospital. I've never met someone so optimistic before. It must get lonely. Sure. Sometimes. But not right now. I reaches out as if to place her hand on mine again. All I can feel is a hint of a breeze. But I understand the sentiment. What? I struggle to put together the right words. What happened to you? Before, I mean. Before you were a ghost. You mean like, how did I die? Uh, that's a straightforward way of saying it, but sure. I guess, yeah. That's a really personal question to ask a girl, you know. I I'm just curious. Is there anything wrong with being curious? Jeez. I, uh. My mouth flaps open and closed as I search for the words to apologize. Then I realize Aya's grinning in amusement. Nah, I'm just messing with you. Truth is, I don't know that either. I don't remember much from before. I have some vague, blurry memories of my childhood, and there are some things that I just know somehow. Like my name. But nothing concrete about what happened to me, no matter how hard I try to think about it. It's like I just woke up here one day. The hospital is all I know. I assume I probably died here since I'm haunting it and all. But really, who knows? She looks wistful for a moment before her eyes light up again. Ooh, maybe I actually died a long, long time ago, before the hospital was even built. Doubt that considering they're wearing a gown. <laughs> I could be from like Civil War times or something. Doubt that because you're wearing a gown. <laughs> Seems unlikely. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm not gonna be a hard ass like I was just like two seconds ago, so sure, why not? Or even earlier. Maybe you were one of those pilgrims who disappeared from the Roanoke colony. Yeah! I got centuries of wisdom in this ghost brain. If only historians could unlock it. If only. So, do you still wanna be friends? That's the most dumbest question you ever asked. Hell yes. Now that you know my secret and all. Of course. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. Maybe you're super scared of ghosts or something. Lady, I jumped out of the window and broke my leg. I have little to be scared about. Do I look scared? Honestly, before I met you, I was starting to feel like I was a ghost myself. Trust me, you're not. I know. Good thing you were here to tell me then. Aya flashes me one of her beaming smiles. Friends? Friends. She moves as if to shake my hand. And I do my best to play along despite the lack of physical feedback. Wanna watch some Jeopardy? I'm pretty sure it's about to come on. I carefully reach for the remote on the bedside table. It's gotten a little less painful to do that over the last few days. As long as I don't have to move too much all at once. Of course! I bet I can get more answers right than you can. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can. <laughs> at least we both acknowledge that. I flick the TV on and settle in for an afternoon of hanging out with my new best friend. No matter how strange and unconventional our relationship might be. Oh, is that it? I just read it in a really weird way. Good job, Ants, you screwed it up again. <laughs> my life in the hospital continues to improve over the next couple of weeks. And we'll see how you improve, but I think this is a good place to end here because now we established Ghost Girl. <laughs> but seriously, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jibba jabber, my kings, my queens, and my royals, and die. We'll see you soon. I'm really happy again. <laughs> Although, it's, I thought it was going to be really sad. 
I'm glad that we have a friend. Even if it's a ghost that no one can see. You know what? I'm okay with being looked like I'm crazy. All I need is my best friend that's next to me. I only need one motherfucker to take on the world. And that's Aya. Let's go! Lord knows I try.